is this champion. Viego's all about the resets. He's looking to, you know, get his multiple ult chains, get back to that AD carry. Zai is one of the few that has, his, has an answer. Yeah, how do we feel about these last two picks here for the side of Zach Evil Genius? Has been laning phase. Uh, he's got very low CS numbers and they have been chunked out consecutively here. Neo, though, now is a one on the run. Okay, we got plays in two different parts of the map up here on the top side is first blood oh, over to Vignatas. Oh, and they get another one here in the bottom lane as Neo's about to die to the very last arrow. Danny Killer now God. trying to deal with Afro Moo here with a 1v1, but support will <laughs> combat. Thank Back you, gents, on the cast. Banana peel. I love that. <laughs> I have never heard that particular phrasing used before, but now Jazuke is going to get dived here in the mid lane, and Yasui takes him down here in the bottom. We got another 2v2. Mid lane for Dignitas. Meanwhile, we've got still Akkadian there with the level 6 Gragas finishing up on Krugs. Top ooh, side ooh. is going to be the focus. Impact going in with a lot of damage here so far. Tries to jump in. Fake out with a flash away, with a flash into the wall up. Into the stab in the back with Contract's help. Impact gets it done. Meanwhile, you see get paid. It's just on different areas. I would say at this stage, it's very good for Evil Geniuses to, to clear act. it. Rift Herald ready to charge here in mid lane as Evil Geniuses have a four man party to take down first turret. This will now put Vect Check. herself. If that's a different AD carry, she is not feeling good about the state of things there. Acadian and Afro move ready to go in. Acadian throws out the ult to here. Contracts could be in a bad spot. Neo's coming in here with a Gale Force looking to execute him. Contracts at 150 HP. He uses the mist to get away, but Danny will be the sacrificial lamb. Yasui's made his way into the bottom lane, now going for the stun and the outplay underneath the turret, but the chain CC is coming out. Contracts and Ignar want to stand and fight, but the fight is a slaughter, and Neo is the one walking away with the bloody knife. Dignitas, eight to three. Keep them in range for Yasui to uh, complete the collapse on the side of Dignitas. Just really well played with the patience there, not to go all in because you're a squishy Gragas. So Jazuke finds himself the lone man defending while everybody else isn't there in time. So Dig. Oh, the, oh no, we're going to get dove. There's a teleport on Fake Out a couple seconds away. There it is. Okay, two different TPs showing up. Jazuke could be the target, but he throws Yasui right back, gets away to safety. Yasui's ready to try to flash follow but I don't know if that was the right call. Yasui is taken down with a credit going over to Jazuke. Contracts here grabbing the reset, stealing away the enemy body, and now the bodies are going to pile up, baby. Let them hit the floor. Danny takes another one, and evil geniuses run over Dignitas. Oh, Flowers win the best laid plans. Go out the window. Yasui jumps right through this anymore. Way. I don't care if I know what they were going for. That <laughs> flip the switch replay. You know what that was? As fake God's gonna get caught out now. Never mind. We don't even have the time for an anecdote. We only got time for a team fight. We only got time for us getting the Drake. So the soul stack is over. That's done. Harold's gonna charge here in the mid lane. The charge alone is not enough to secure the turret. Split push on the bottom side. Charge up your bar. Teleport in. He's got flash ready in it. It should be much easier now for evil geniuses to execute on finishing this game. No options. Okay, Baron's already at half HP. Viego and Azir can do a lot of damage to it. Afro Moo's going in for the three-man knockup, and Digger going for the Wombo combo. Afro Moo is still alive. The shutdown of Jazuke comes They got through. him, and he's Digger's doing his is making a fight work. Fake God's got the stasis. He's staying alive through that. Evil geniuses are punished. Evil Dig geniuses Baron! are destroyed. And Dignitas, with the miracle moment they needed, take the Baron. They got him all grouped Standing up. towers. Get ready for a banger. Yeah, well, the can of worms has been opened up. If you didn't up. see, that was from Fake then God. You also find yourself still taking Baron damage while being grouped up for some of the AOE. Like they have given themselves a second wind here as they'll continue pushing now, looking for their first, their fourth <laughs> cross between first and fourth. A fourth. This, this pick off. The Predator oh. this late in the game, super quick. Here's the teleport in. Yasui's ready to go. Emperor's oh. Divide already comes out early. Jazuke's oh. gonna get caught. There is no stasis to save him. Dignitas are coming up huge when it matters the most. Yasui's ready to continue the chase. Now he's gonna get jumped on. Dignitas will lose their mid laner, but only after he's already got himself the double kill. Evil Genius is trying to fight back with Acadian about to drop now. Contracts oh. are gonna go in here for the reset. And Impact, the big man on campus. He don't go to the party, he is the party. Oh. And evil geniuses get the ace. Flowers, I was about to shout, that's going to be Baron after he's unable to ult anyone back on the Azir. And yet, the Turn. thing that does come from these players that I know play Phil, here's a little uh, surprise for Impact in topside, though. Okay, Impact getting caught out. 
The ulti's gonna knock him back. So impact picked off there. Now, These evil geniuses making their way onto the tier two turret here in the top lane. There's only 30 seconds left on the Baron. Certainly does. And here goes Aphromoosh Aurelius. He's ready to go in after Danny. Cleanse. Gets the charm, gets the knock up. Danny's in a bad spot. Tries to throw out an arrow. Neo's gonna lose half HP. The resurrection comes through. Jazuke gets away and Danny is left to the wolves. He tries to take Neo with him, but he won't get the kill. Aphromu highlighting his Quicksilver Satch per purchase there as he QSSs off Danny's ultimate, just continues to charge him down, gets the engage. Acadia now looking for contracts. Contracts, needs to be a little bit careful here. Over the wall he goes, that ultimate, such a powerful escape tool. Aphromu still has eyes on him. Okay, nope, just dashes away out of that one, turns around, puts a little damage back okay. onto the Dignitas support. Lot of damage onto Ignar though. Akkadian and Yasui taking him down. Yasui's Irelia very, very powerful right now. They have to respect how much damage he can do. Contracts without an ulti means it will be more difficult to escape. Has to flash over the stun, dashes right back out of the follow-up, but they're still gonna keep the diva going underneath the turret. Contract's gonna get shut down, and Dignitas will not go <gasps> quietly into the night. Neo's ready, baby, there go the feathers. Impact stands alone, Impact dies alone. Did you see Tezuka? That was two, that was a legit two hit. He poofed upon arrival. Oh my goodness, Dignitas doing flowers! The long chase, they're in the base, that is gonna do it! Dignitas, they make a comeback in this game, they make a comeback in this series! They're gonna tie it up, Danny and Ignar cannot defend here in a 2v5. It was close, it was back and forth, it was a battle, and Dignitas are here to play, one-to-one. -one. The long chase out of their own territory.